Here we're looking for the greatest common factor between two numbers, 12 and 20. We'll do this without calculation by first drawing a rectangle that is 12 by 20. The first thing we'll do is make the largest square we can within this rectangle that touches a corner. In this case, that's a 12 by 12 square. Then we'll take our leftover, that's 8 on this edge, 12 on this, and draw another square, the largest one we can that still touches a corner, which in this case is an 8 by 8 square. And we're left over with another rectangle, with 4 as one edge and 8 as the other. We'll make a square there, the largest we can, that still touches a corner. That's 4 by 4. What we're left with is a square, a 4 by 4 square. So we found our greatest common factor, 4. We can confirm this by repeating the squares along each edge and seeing that they fit exactly. 4, 4, 4. And on this side, 4, 4. We have 5 squares of five, 4 along the top and 3 squares of 4 along the side. This way we can also find the least common multiple. We'll take the number of squares that fit on this side and multiply it by the size of the side on the size of the other side. So that's 20 times 3. We'll take the number of squares along this edge and multiply it by the size of the other edge. That's 12 times 5. Both of these add up to 60, which is our least common multiple.